games to stop people coming. Well, I got a text from a friend of mine that said, they finally found a job you actually can do, Kira. <laughs> I haven't spoken to him since. Terry. Yeah, I had a situation uh, a number of years ago, Kieran, where I locked the door as Irish they were starting. And a, a member of Fitzwilliam, who I won't mention, started knocking the door and saying, but I'm a member. And I said, you'll just have to wait like everyone else. I asked him to serve. Brian Byrne to receive. So, Arthur's serving Brian receive. Love all. Love all. A hush falls on, on the audience. It's terrible only about a young child's soft tones, which is nice to hear. Just a sweat band. Oh, lovely shot from Arthur. Brian doesn't wear them, some people do, some don't. I wouldn't feel comfortable picking up a racket without having a sweat band on my wrist. It's likely to be a lot of feeling each other out in the early stages. where they were just well. feeling each other out playing what, nearly 40 shot rally well, they just put it in good sin for one off referee Michael McElroy agrees and gives him a left one off That's unlucky, Arthur. Again. Lovely rallies with lovely deep balls. Hard up, Brian. That's a, and, uh, a lovely feeling, uh, yeah. feeling out rally. Brian played a very nice cross boss. Oh, shot. very tight shot from Arthur. Lovely shot. Yeah, interesting at the start of the match. Uh, both players have started very well which you have to give Brian a lot of credit given he doesn't get the same level of competition but Arthur's power just at the moment is very evident. That's unlucky, Brian. He points to the corner to himself, telling himself to get a little bit more elevation on it. Four two. Brian 
turned on that and it would have been dangerous to strike it so he looked for a left the referee gives it Great catch for Arthur. Taps Brian in acknowledgement of their shared experience. They hit the ball more in that rally than I've played in games. I've played in the whole game, I've played and not hit the ball that often. That's a lovely part from Arthur. Brian recognised he wouldn't be able to get to it. Arthur just beginning to stretch him a little bit the last couple of points. Um, he won the last two points really off loose shots from Brian. Deception. Brian had gone the wrong way. Even then, he almost got around Arthur to reach it. 7 2, a considerable lead. Yeah, yeah, Arthur's starting to control the tee now, and Brian's doing a lot of the chasing. Just stuck to the wall, and Brian couldn't get any purchase on it. Eight two, so a very substantial lead for Arthur at this point. Just couldn't reach back far enough to get that, but it was well played by Arthur. He controlled the tee and controlled the rally. He played fine depth on the final final shot. <laughs> Tight drop, which Arthur acknowledges. There's a tap on his racket. It's a lovely 
shot, Brian jumped on a loose shot from Arthur very quickly and put it away. Her 10 4. Arthur had six game balls in the first game. The first game. Yeah, you'd have to say um, he's got the greater range of shots. Uh, Brian's doing most of the, the running, particularly running around Arthur. Arthur's controlling the tee, which is key in squash. So at this stage, um, you would have to feel that Arthur is looking favourite. Uh, but a lot will depend on fitness levels. Brian's a very fit young fella. He'll keep going. He won't stop. A lot of Brian's game is really based around the whole attrition aspect of squash, where he just keep working people and working them and working them, but eventually they come back to him. So in a lot of ways, Brian often doesn't mind losing a first game if it's hard enough. But actually, it wasn't that hard for Arthur, really. He was very well within his comfort zone. Um, it was interesting talking to Rory Bourne beforehand. He thought it was likely to be a very hard-to-call game. Um, but I do think that, Ar that Arthur's high experience at a, at a higher level that he's playing at in New York probably will stand to him. Um, if you haven't got the squash shots, it doesn't matter how fit you are. On the other side is the best, technically best squash players don't always win. They can be brought down to the level of mulligers like you and me, Jerry. Well, like me, I wouldn't necessarily call you that. <laughs> 15 seconds. <laughs> Except but, but others might. <laughs> others wouldn't be as kind as me, I know, yeah. <laughs> but then they don't have to sit beside you in this close proximity. <laughs> so the referee's called 15 seconds, which gives the players fair warning that time to regather themselves, re do the last bit of the rehydration and come back into it. to get the proceedings underway. Yes, led. yes, that was very close to the stroke. I think Brian had cleared just enough. It's a good call from Michael. Two very lovely, delicate drops. And then pulled out into the back and played another lovely touch shot. Super. We'll need to see a lot more of that from Brian, though. He really needs to not let Arthur get away in this game. says no, so he calls it down against himself. I wasn't able to see, actually. So, supporting that he acknowledges that he didn't get it. So, 
Brian Byrne bends his knees and laughs at himself, having, having, still laughing at his own stupidity, which is a good thing to be able to do in life. Not his best shot. No, no way. Not his career. 2-1. Not even the top 10. Very well played by Arthur. Arthur generates tremendous power and pace on the ball at times. So, yeah. He is a Yeah, Brian's definitely trying to pick the pace up, but, but Arthur's responding every time. Down. Arthur acknowledges the same, but you notice Brian is definitely playing at a much higher pace, putting more pace on the ball, which he had to do because he has to change the game. Yeah, good, good decision, correct decision there. Arthur wasn't getting to that ball. He's querying the decision. But I think it was, there was no question it was a correct decision, I think. Um, although I, he I hear someone in the audience disagreeing with me, an Arthur supporter. But the pace of this game has lifted at least 10%, and there's fewer errors now. It's a question of who's going to crack first in this game.
that, is that for all? Of us? Yes, Brian thought he had a, a, a handy stroke there, but I think Arthur actually had cleared it just in time. It was a very tight call, but it was the right decision. I think correct decision. There. Are the same Brian went straight for him, but actually Arthur was in a difficult place. Yeah, I know Arthur was in his way. He, he was taking the correct line. I think that was a definite stroke. That's a repulse for the half. What a lovely touch. Just fed it the right into the corner. Right. Six, five. Hear the audience are beginning to get much more involved in the game too as the pace has increased, which is lovely. Some beautiful shots there. Some beautiful touches and it dies in the, in the nick as well. It's a throwing game of squash. I've never seen that late. They're still controlling the game, but he, you can see he's feeling the pace a bit now. And Brian is a very fit guy. He'll keep going. We know that. Screen you're watching it, you're able to, to get a sense of just the level of athleticism that's on display. It's extraordinary that two people can sustain this level. This point is critical. Brian could win it, get back to get back to seven eight as opposed to nine six. Very important point here.
Con Arthur might appear to pick up. Out, I thought the pickup was okay. I think Brian is, you know, playing very well. Just cutting this error count. I think Arthur is feeling the pace a little bit. Just there to say that was a lovely eight job. nine. Eight nine very tight now. If Brian could win this game, it would be a bit of a steal, I think, because Arthur, to be fair, has controlled it, but Brian's still there. Eight reason why he can have a complaint but he can come up with one and Brian's some, showing some great touch play now I mean that was a super drop that was the sort of drop Arthur would have played uh, we're now seeing some of those shots from Brian a little more uncomfortable now this game he, he looked very strong earlier on but Brian's Brian's there I think that, that ball is good yes left yes double hit though off the racket brilliant even to reach it and the lads are having a chat, but not really disagreeing. So they're happy enough, I think, with the let overall. Tremendous get from Brian. Brian's a very fair player, to be, a uh, very honest player. But I would have been a little bit unhappy there if I was him. Lucky for Arthur. Brian I'll tell you if Brian wins this game, it's wide open as a match. Side of Brian and play it. He'd slightly overcommit himself with the drop. But hard, hard onto the ref. Yeah, so that's the safest decision of all. <laughs> Lovely drop from Arthur there. 11 0. The audience are getting very involved in it now.
delicately. Beautiful job. After an absolutely absorbing rally. Both of them were sort of in control at different points of the rally. Coming off the court, there's a very happy man there. Brian will be very happy with that. Uh, Brian will be very happy. Arthur looked very unhappy coming off the court. He was well in control of that game, but Brian just wore him down. And it was Brian playing the touch shots at the end of that game. And it was actually Arthur starting to get loose and missing a few shots. So this is game on. As we said at the start, a really interesting contrast in styles. I, I would feel Arthur will come out with much more pace on the ball, actually, because yeah, Brian, able to chase it down, you know? Yeah, but Arthur was dominating with pace in the first game, and he wasn't using as much pace in the second game. So I think that that change will come about. Okay, we're coming into the third game now, and this is going to be really probably the critical game of the, of the match. Brian will be much happier. I think Arthur was getting just a little bit disconcerted and frustrated at the end of that game. One game all. Burn to serve. Joe Ruddy gets the game going. Third game. Love all. One out and love all. Mistake. Fiddles with his lace to gather his momentum. Take a breather. That's too early yet to take a breather, even for me. confident he was going to get a stroke there. But he just nods and carries on. to the points of the corner where the ball should have been rather than two foot out from the wall. That's 
a lovely touch from Arthur. Beautiful. Drop shot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brian really has to hang in this early part of the game because Arthur will be strong again after the break. But if he can hang in, anything can happen later on in the game. have a little bit of time to gather himself. Yeah. Shot. Even to have the imagination to play that. It's just, just a beautiful shot. Very brave shot. He's played a couple of really top class drops, which he wouldn't be noted for. He'd be noted more as just a retriever, grinder. He's shown some great touch today. to get the, the angle to play the front wall and then the side wall and die. Arthur's arguing that Brian should have moved quicker out of his way, but actually the time between Brian playing the shot and Arthur coming up, his back was very little. I think the right decision by the referee. I don't know if you've agreed with that, that decision. Yeah, it looked a little bit harsh on Arthur there. I think he has maybe good reason to query that one. But we must remember Joe's one of our top class referees. Doesn't necessarily mean he always oh, sorry, Michael was referee, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, very unlucky from Arthur. Crazy opportunity and he just went for it. The job that was just too precise and millimeters out. Yeah. Yeah, it's Arthur's querying it, but actually, it did nick in the back wall. That Brian had to improvise the shot, it turned out to be a winner. I was 
absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, interesting. He would have lost the point anyway. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter that it was called not up. Actually, I don't think I know he would he didn't lose it. I, I actually think the referee had to play a let there having made a missed call. I'd have been going berserk if I was Brian. I'd know how to spare, but I certainly would have argued on the other one. He was thinking, what the hell do I have to do to get a point here? Well, Arthur picked the pace up there. He had to to win the point. So, and he's going to have to keep doing that because Brian just isn't going away. He just stays in every run. It's a robbing game though, isn't it? Full of contrasts. Yeah, and it's swinging both ways at the moment. I just feel Brian just confidence-wise looks a bit more confident. And out, 7-0. Looks like he's trying to find a reason that he could justify an appeal, but there was no reason there. He just played a bad shot, Brian was in control. What a lovely shot from Arthur. He was onto it so early. Both players are playing flat out now, there's no give or take in this one. This is going to be crucial the next couple of points. tremendous power into that drive and a good, a good nick but Brian was struggling to get it even if it hadn't nicked
10-8. Quickly, let's move to a point where Arthur is in control. 10-8. Two game balls for a 2-1 lead. Asking, 11-8. Unfortunately, that was one of the few bad shot selections by Brian. He played the boast and it really opened the door for Arthur. But Brian won't be unhappy. The game's still very even. He just seemed to let it slip those last couple of points. I just felt Arthur got that game a little bit easy at the end, unlike the second game. As they get ready for the fourth game, you can bet that the tactics here, Arthur will really go out fast early on to try and kill this off. And Brian really has to just not give him any easy points, keep the match open. Yeah, I think he'll, you're right. He'll, 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 oh no, he won't. Absolutely not. isn't going to worry about the fact my wife will give out to me for not being home for my dinner in time. Won't bother him in the slightest. Very unreasonable man, Brian Byrne is.
I was unlucky, actually. And out for an off. Jim Ryan's ability to change direction so quickly is extraordinary. Yeah, I was just watching his movement. I mean, even when he, when he plays a weak shot, you know, he really does get back quickly to the tee and give himself a chance of staying in the, the rally. But this, this game has started a little bit like the first, with Arthur just really going for it. Yes, lad. Yes, lad. One love. It's extraordinary. I often, rather than looking at the ball, I look at the hitting, I look at the feet, I look at the movement. Brian, Brian's movement is just so superb. <laughs> Arthur's no slouch either, mind you. Exactly what he doesn't need. He's just to try and keep the game going here. his rubber man tactics there, some of the ball he got to, and that frustrated Arthur, that rally, having looked like he should have won it, and he lost it, but he gets a, a, a lucky one there. Three two. there isn't a huge divide among the audience for one or the other because I suppose they're both um, they're both I'm sure Mrs. Byrne is probably rooting for her son though Thank you Arthur Sportingly concedes that he missed, picked up the ball 3-4 inaccurately 3-4 Three, four. Okay. Arthur's mind is still on the score, so he just correctly steps back. Get himself refocused. Lovely shot from Arthur. And out, five, three. Even listening to the sounds from the court, you can hear the power that Arthur is generating in striking the ball. There are these four in a row were struck with real venom. Just like the first game, Brian's doing a lot of hard work, a lot of running. 
Arthur's just got that nose in front here. Now uh, let's see if he can keep it that way. Discovered squash and preparing scratching their heads. And all these years later, 80, 90 years later, you've got two lads in the same school. We learned all the tricks together. Now playing the final of the Irish National Championships. Got an amazing ability to bounce through interference that he bumps off Arthur and still regains his balance so quickly. It's extraordinary. Oh, that was a very poor shot. Yeah, Brian's missed at least three in this game like that. Where he's, he was missing none of them in the first and the second. And it just puts Arthur in a strong position now. He's starting to see the finishing line. But Brian won't give it to him easy. He never does to any opponent. a good decision he he may have thought Arthur was interfering but Arthur was actually clear Unlucky. Yeah, he's put four into ten though in this game, which you know that's the difference between nine four and a different scoreline. Arthur really is playing as he played in the first game, much more in control now.
Yes, Nash. Yes, Nash. Nine four. Right side. I didn't think so. Neither Mary Hugh does it so. Yeah, right side. Yeah, right much more like he did in the first tee. He picked the pace up in this game and Brian just hasn't been able to respond to that level of pace. And definitely the faster game suiting Arthur. Arthur's performance have been absolutely ex excellent this, this game as well. And Brian needs five points in a row, which is a huge ask. Yeah, it's been done before, though. Yeah. The only thing, he has to be just a little bit more tentative with his game. But sometimes the person in the lead sometimes just lets it slip a bit. Gaskin wins the Irish National Championship 2015. Three games to 